welcome back to another video in our FE Civil Preparation course. In this video, we are going to learn about soil properties and their phase relations. Understanding the different types of soil is very crucial for any structure or civil engineer. Soil behave differently under load based on their type. That's why it is very important to understand the nature of the soil in our site before we start any step of our design process. Soil could be classified into two main types. First type is cohesive soil, such as silt and clay, and second type is cohesionless soil, such as sand and gravel. As we can see here, you can shape cohesive soil in your hand and they will keep their shape because the soil particles have cohesive strengths between each other. While in the other hand, if you try to hold cohesionless soil such as sand in your hand, they will directly flow out of your hand because there is no any cohesion force between the soil particles and each other. Any soil sample in its natural form consists of three main components, which are solid particles, water content, and air content. Hence, we can represent the soil sample in the following shape. If we consider the solids volume to be Vs, water volume to be Vw, and the air volume to be Va, it means that the void total volume will be Vv, which equals to Va plus Vw. While if we considered solids weight to be Ws and water weight to be Ww, then the total weight of the soil sample will equal to Ws plus Ww, which is W. Because air, of course, doesn't have weight. What we have just mentioned could be summarized in this figure, which is called phase diagram. The relation between the different states and parameters of the soil are governed by multiple equations as we can see here. Those equations are all included in the FE Civil Handbook, so you don't have to memorize them. However, you should familiarize yourself with how to use them. Those equations are the following. Volume of voids VV equals VA plus VW, while VA is the volume of air and VW is the volume of water. Total unit weight, which is gamma, equals W over V, which is the weight over the volume. Saturated unit weight, gamma saturated, equals Gs plus E, all multiplied by gamma water, all divided by 1 plus E, where gamma water equals 62.4 bound per feet cube, or 9.81 kN per meter cube, and Gs is the specific gravity of soil solids, which equal to Ws over Vs, all divided by gamma water, and E is the void ratio, which equals Vv over Vs. Effective or submerged unit weight, gamma effective equals gamma saturated minus gamma water. And unit weight of solids, gamma S equals Ws over Vs, where Ws is the weight of solids and Vs is the volume of solids. Dry unit weight, gamma dry equals Ws, which is the weight of the solid, over V, which is the volume. Water content percentage equals WW over WS, all multiplied by 100. And the porosity, which is N, equals VV over V, or equals E over 1 plus E. And finally, the degree of saturation, S equals VW over VV, all multiplied by 100. Or, it equals the water content, multiplied by GS, which is a specific gravity, all divided by E. So now, Let's have a couple of examples on this. So let's check this example. We have a soil sample with total mass of 23.3 gram, volume of 12 centimeter cube, and the oven dry mass of 21.2 gram, volume of solids is 8.48 centimeter square, volume of solids is 8.48 centimeter cube, and we want to calculate the void ratio of the soil sample. So let's start by the data that we already have in this example. We have the total weight, which is 23.3 gram. We have the total volume, which is 12 centimeter cube. And we have the weight of the solids, which is 21.2 grams. And we have the volume of solids, which is 8.48 centimeter cube. We want to calculate the void ratio of this soil. We know that E, which is the void ratio of the soil, equals VV over VS. We already have VS here, which is 8.48 cm3, but we want to calculate VV, which is the volume of the voids. 
we also know that VV, which is the volume of the void, equals the total volume minus the volume of the solids. And we have both. We have the volume, overall volume, which is 12 centimeter cube, and we have volume of solids, which is 8.48. So volume of the void equals 12 minus 8.48 centimeter cube, which would be 3.52 centimeter cube. So this means that E, which is the void ratio, equals 3.52 over 8.48 so it equals 0.42 and our answer will be a which is 0.42 let's check another example we have one cubic meter of soil specimen with volume of voids of 0.49 meter cube and we want to calculate the porosity of this soil this is direct question because we have the volume of one meter cube and we have the volume of voids which is 0.49 meter cube and we know that porosity equals VV over V, so this is very direct. It will be 0.49 over 1, which is 0.49. So the answer will be C, 